everyone. Hi, everybody. And welcome to a What Sold Saturday a video. What Sold Saturday video, where we're going to talk about some of the things that we found at the thrift store to sell online. And then they did sell. Yes, they did. And now we have money from them, or we're about to get money from them. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you spacing? Can you imagine if I just sat here and mimed this entire time? This week of What's on Saturday covers the 22nd through the 28th. Uh. Though you will notice a little lack of numbers and sales and things and stuff and such for the 27th and 28th because mm -hmm. we actually are filming this on the morning of the 27th. It's about 1 p.m. on the 27th, so we've had a little bit of time but not a ton yes. to make some sales this morning. I think I have one. But we are filming <laughs> We are filming this early because- One of my one... very good friends is coming up from Iowa yes. this weekend. I cannot form sentences. And we have a lovely set of events to go to on Saturday. So we unfortunately will not be able to and film- And Friday. And Friday. But it'll be nice to like- And she gets here today, like in a yeah. couple hours. So that's why we got to film now. It'll be like... good. We have every, almost every single Saturday. Like I think I can count on two hands the number of Saturdays in the past six years that we we haven't filmed one of these on Saturday. And it doesn't happen often. It's probably a very unrelatable problem, but like the concept of filming while you have a guest here makes me cringe and makes me, that's weird. But like if we were, if we were like- What is she gonna do, <laughs> sit outside of the door and be like- <laughs> Well, she's not a seller, so like we can't have her like be yeah, guests. It'd be different <laughs> if like Melinda visited us or like Lori Tata, because a we could just have them film with a us. A friend that does that. Anyways, oh. so. This is gonna cover the week of the 22nd to 28th, but you'll notice like 22nd to 27th basically is the sales that we have. Also at the end, we do have one PO Box package that we would like to open. From a very special human being. We did just check today on the 27th, so if you sent one, it is not here. If this is not your, well this is from Cat Cram. Yes, so if yes. you were not Cat Cram, but you did send something, it's just not here yet because we did I'll check and week, this yeah. was everything. I am gonna cover my Mercari sale, my Depop sale, and I have two eBay sales, and then we got regular Poshmark sales. For I week. have. Funny enough, I've been cross-posting like a fiend, which is nice, because it has been paying off. Poshmark, I don't know about the rest of everybody, mine's been kind of slow. Last week, I think I had this like little like... And now I think we're, we're, you know, ticking downward. I had two really good, well, one really good eBay sale, and then one other regular eBay sale, and six on Depop. I feel like the traffic on basically everything has been picking up just a little. Not like extremely noticeably, getting... but it's just like slightly more. My Depop's mm -hmm. been getting like, you can see the views on Depop and that's yes. been picking up. Mm -hmm. And I feel like eBay, I've mm -hmm. been getting more questions and getting more like offers and stuff, even if they're bad. So like, I feel like everything's like slightly increasing. I was just gonna say, I feel like I'm getting more like, Nibbles. I'm getting yeah. more attention on stuff. Like people more are bites. liking you're things. You're fishing and you're getting more like tugs. People are building bundles on Poshmark. Like I am getting a lot more questions on like the seven things I have listed on like Vestair yeah. and like eBay. Yes. Which is good to know because I hope that's indicative of we're gonna make some more money next week because <laughs> we can't be living on all this this week. No ma'am. I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the thrift <laughs> with us that went up on Tuesday and it was just like a smidge shorter, but I feel like those are always just a little bit shorter than usual because mm -hmm. it's kind of hard when shopping to also be filming like continuously. Oh, especially at the bins. But also, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul that went up on the 27th, the day that we're filming. We had a lot of like really good stuff, though we did have to rush through the haul <laughs> as well. So but it's sorry. okay. It's okay. We won't have to rush next week in the videos that we have. <laughs> no, we will not. And then I hope you guys also enjoyed the Friday video on the second channel. If you were interested in that, I actually, instead of doing a shopping for Halloween, I did a haul of everything that I got in June and July, Halloween wise. It's such cute stuff. Oh. <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, so we're gonna jump into the sales now. And actually we're not, because we're gonna jump into the Valentine VIP of the week now. And the Valentine VIP of the week is actually Kirsten. So hello, Kirsten. Uh, and thank Kirsten, you Kirsten, hello. for being one of our Valentines. I hope you enjoyed the Wednesday video. And Kirsten's username is at klikes17. I love that. Spelt just like it sounds, K-L-I-K-E-S 17. Here is Kirsten's closet da -da -da. right here. And of course, she is the first link below too. So everybody, go give her some shares, go give her some likes, and go give her some love. Everybody say love. Love. Wow. This <laughs> person gets a very calm <laughs> love. Yeah! There we go. Oh, that was a loud one. So thank you to Kirsten once again for being one of our Valentines. And thank you to all of our Valentines. Like we said, you are also getting a video on Monday too. So from Ryan, actually. The Monday video yeah. is just me. 
<laughs> now let's move on to the sales. So let's talk about the other platforms first, and I will first talk about my Mercari sale. On Mercari, I sold this oh, Ted Baker Floral Safiano Leather Printed Bag. This I got probably like six months ago to a year ago. It's cute. It's really pretty, and everyone had skipped it because Ted Baker puts his logo like really tiny on his bags, if you ever find them. So a lot of people just didn't notice, but I'm glad it finally sold. Then on eBay, I sold this Anthropology Rare Tracy Reese Rose Art Painting Floral Tweed dress. So this was quite an older piece, but it was new with tags, That's and I did get this, I think, at Turnstyle for a really good deal. I love Turnstyle. It almost looked like, I think Van Gogh's, like, flowers painting, I think it is, or maybe one of his pond ones. It was very green with, like, some hmm. pinks and purples to it. As bad as it sounds, me being the art teacher that I am, um, oh, they look like Manet Monet's oh, Monet. flowers. Those, like, little old Frenchmen. Monet. It looked like a Mon Mon Manet? Monet? Manet Monet potato Monet. potato. So this dress actually sold for quite a lot. It sold for $68, even though if you do know Tracy Reese, and even plenty by Tracy Reese, mm -hmm. it is very expensive. 68 bucks. that was my full asking price. Very happy to see it go. She had actually asked for measurements. So on eBay, apparently answering measurement questions works out a little bit better than answering on Posh. Because on just... Posh, disappear. What's that like gift? a fart in the wind, as you would say. I was gonna say that gif of Homer Simpson where he, well, he just, just like disappears. fades back into the yeah. bushes. No response, just disappears. <laughs> then, this is a new bolo to me and possibly to you guys. It is a brand called La Reunion. R A, it's like spelled like reunion, but the E has the little like apostrophe over it. <laughs> so this brand is like kind of, I would explain as like lag and look esque, but looking at this dress, this is like the type of stuff that they make. It's very like patchworky. Like I think they must upcycle old fabric or something like <laughs> that. Madewell has actually done a collaboration with them before that was also really expensive. And The Real Real has done a collaboration with them before too. Hmm. This dress was actually from The Real Real collaboration. It said like La Reunion X Real Real. And I was like, okay. Oh. It was fine though, because okay. those were just as expensive as their normal stuff. So this was the neutral patchwork color block puff sleeve dress. These things are freaking expensive. They're like $600 new. That's, that's too much. And they keep a lot of value. So this sold for $248 on eBay, and I actually had it listed, I think, at like $348. So that that's wasn't too bad, them. too. I think we went back and forth a couple times. My, I had two Mercari sales that I will chit chat about. My first being this pair of Lululemon men's ABC. We just went on a journey here. I hope you enjoyed the journey. I didn't. It, it's the journey, not the destination. <laughs> I love Miley Cyrus. Anyway, Lululemon Men's ABC Black and 9 inch flat front shorts. I found these in the bins or someplace for really not that much and they sold on Mercari for $32. On Mercari. Mercari. Cross posting again. I have not had a Mercari sale in an eternity, it yeah. seems like. Until I started cross posting. Wow, who would have thunk it? You put a little effort at something and it pays off. <laughs> Really? Whoa. Wow. <laughs> and then I sold this aloe, which playing into the other conspiracy theory of anything on Mercari that is like two to three years behind the posh crowd, it does quite well. It was worded very strangely. Things that were popular on Poshmark two years ago are very popular now on Mercari. That's what I said. You said it really <laughs> weird. Anyway, this sold for $21, but like a sports bra that I found in the bins make what, 19, 18, 19 bucks after the 10%? Easy peasy. Aloe also, just so you guys know, does do really good on Mercari. Yes, they Like do. it has for a while and it still mm -hmm. does. At, like I think four out of five of the aloe that I've sold in the past whenever, like the last ones I sold were on Mercari. And then let's get into the Depop in the eBay sales. Let me do my one Depop first then. Okay. Because you probably have a lot more than one Depop. And yes. If I had to guess. <laughs> so my one Depop guess? was actually this Coach Vintage Y2K Pastel Monogram Tiffany Blue Mini Wristlet. About this size. This is cute. And this, if you remember, was actually from our Thread Up Coach, like, Battle of the Boxes. Which we do want to do another one of those soon if you guys are interested. This cost me technically what? <laughs> technically, $10. technically, if you broke down evenly the coach pieces, this cost me like twenty dollars. <laughs> But it sold for twenty five. So. <laughs> what was the goal? I actually, video? I had I had already made my money back in the coach box by me a lot. Too, I thank think the Lord. so. That's fine. Twenty five bucks for that little thing was great. And Kit, I was gonna say catch this, and I was gonna say get this, and it became Kit. <laughs> get this. This thing had hundred and twenty two likes. 
on the pop to pop. It looks like the new like Coach Topia it does. stuff. They that they're use the colors like that, that white though. leather with that like Y two K blue. Okay, my first on Depop, I think Jack actually gave this to me. Vintage 90s linen black short sleeved button down cropped shirt. Really adorable, sold for $26. Then this one also sold on the 23rd. Zion National Park forest green trucker dad hat. I have no idea where Zion National Park is. Somebody does. And they paid $24 for this hat, which is wonderful. Thank you. Then I immediately texted this to Miss Lori Tata. If you don't know, she is like the apex of the American Girl Doll self culture. She She's phenomenal. Anyway, American Girl Doll vintage red drawstring pin detail backpack. This bag had 160 likes on Depop. And if I can find the screenshot of how many views this thing had, it's kind of like for an American Girl Doll backpack, like. Literally, like, um, okay. And I don't think this was anything special. Like, I don't think it was anything rare or like any kind of collector's piece. Like, you know, some of the stuff that I think would warrant a little bit of a higher price tag. It was just some regular American Girl doll backpack from the Mall of America American Girl doll store. It sold for $35 and she was like, I had this bag when I was a kid and I've mm. ordered it since. Cute. Thanks, queen. Then on the 24th, fun story about this top. This was the top that in the thrift with us, I was like, oh, I thought that Doan top was one of these. Those like vintage, like cottage core kind of granny blouses. Vintage Cottage Core 70s plus size square neck corset style top sold for $20. I make like 19 something after the fee. Second to last on Depop was this Y2K gold floral shimmer mesh fitted crew neck long sleeve. I love these mesh tops. They weigh nothing. And I always make an easy 10, 15 bucks. This one sold for 16. And then my last was another one of the items that like the views on this just kind of like make your head spin a little bit because like why? Fairy butterfly rave removable fairy wings. One I size could fits see most. that doing good. On... <laughs> Talk about fairy core. Oh. Physically, physically, there is nothing more fairy core than this. Literally. I don't know what my hashtags were for this, but if I you hope... didn't use fairy core. I think I just use fairy. I think that's on Depop, make, you're not that supposed to put That is gonna core. make my head spin. Like fairy, fairy core, I think they're interchangeable. No. Because when you look at the styles, it's not cottage core, it's I know. cottage. There's also not academia. What? Back to reality. This sold for full price for $24, and this had 26 likes. Which like- I can't even believe it didn't have more. I know, it's crazy. Okay, and then my two on eBay, one was actually a really good sale that I paid up for because nobody knows that I actually pay up for things. <laughs> Big secret. Polo Ralph Lauren, new with tags, vintage red American flag, long sleeve sweater. This was not one of the ones that you can sell for like $700 trillion. Like this was, I think if I'm not mistaken, one of the ones from Macy's. There's still like two, $300 in the life, right? Yes, it is. So we recently At saw this. Turnstile, yes. This wasn't one of the really like boutique polo. This was probably from like a Macy's situation. It was new with tags, sold for a hundred dollars. I had it listed at like one forty or one fifty somewhere in there, and so I paid. Fast. I paid twenty five dollars for this, and it sold almost immediately for twenty for a hundred bucks, which is nice. Okay, and then my last on eBay, Madewell Transport Camera IV Leather Crossbody Bag. And this was from the bins. She offered me twenty nine. I accepted. She paid immediately, which like thank the Lord for these people actually paying for some of this stuff. And I don't know what I make. Okay, so moving on to the Poshmark week. Once again, this will cover the 22nd through 27th. And on the 22nd, I had two. I had one. On two, two, I had two. On two, two, two. for two, 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 two. My first went to Tori, and Tori has some good taste because Tori bought something that I really love, and it was this vintage Halloween grandma core ghost and jack o' lantern sweatshirt. Tori, I believe, she, I believe, I see her commenting a lot on the second channel too, and she hunts around the Twin Cities. Is she a spooky babe? For spooky stuff as well. So I'm surprised I have not run into it. So Tori got this for 30, and I get 24. Thank you very, very much, Tori. Then I also sold these Spanx Black Seamless Shapewear Biker Shorts for 15 and I get $9.98. If anyone wants a pair of these, I'm trying to get rid of them. There's so many more. Go send me 15. I have them listed at like 35 or 40 and they do have a ton of likes, but if anyone wants them, 15 bucks. They're sitting Take in a them. pile right here. Please Take clear them. that pile out. Yes. <laughs> My one and only on the 22nd is this North Face Men's Inlux Insulated Winter Jacket. It's sold for $30. I will make 24. Most of the time with like the North Face Patagonia stuff, I like to get a little more. This was a bins find. I was like, this is heavy. How much is it? And they charged me $2. Nice. Thankfully. And it has some stains on it. And I'm not trying to wash every single winter coat that I get. So like 30 bucks. I make my money. Easy peasy. On the 23rd, it was my best sales day for some reason, and I had six. 
Want me to say one or one? Want me to say one or one or no single or, or one solo? Uh, my first one, 23rd, I think was my best sale of the week. And it was this pair of Balenciaga Croc Emboss Leather Slides. And on the back, there was the logo of the Balenciaga, which is really like the reason why I felt okay paying up for them because like mm -hmm. they had something to them versus just being slides. And they sold for $350 and I get 280. It was really cool though. They were like a really square like heel to them as well. Cute. Then I sold this rare Anthropology Folk Hansel from Basil sweater. Mm -hmm. I've had this brand I think once before and it honestly might have been the exact same sweater. They've made like two or three sweaters for Anthem. Is it the squirrel sweater? I don't remember. Maybe. I think the I other one remember. you had was the squirrel sweater because it was But like really so they adorable. made like two or three. So if my other one was different, I have had all two of them or two of them. <laughs> We've had the entire them. Hansel from Basil X Anthropology capsule this collection. This sold for 50 and I get 40. They're really expensive sweaters though. And also Folk is like a line of theirs. Hansel and Basil's like also a brand or something. I don't know. It's like a whole thing. Who? Then this was a really nice sale and I have a feeling that it sold because of the color. Just a feeling. Just a guess. So this was the so, Max Mara runway oversized puff sleeve shirt. I actually bought this kind of wanting to keep it for myself because it was I really cool. I would have gotten one of those cute removable collars. But the puff sleeves oh, so on like a six foot three male, it just like looked not, <laughs> it looked a little weird. So, you try something on and it just, yeah, you have, you, like, a little off. you have an image in your head and then you try it on and you're like, no, Ooh, this isn't no, that. Oh, no, sorry. no, no, no. This sold for $206 and I get 164.80. I had this listed at like 285 because it is just a shirt, though it was very thick. It was more like mm -hmm. shackety. Super nice. And this was on the runway and this retailed for like $695 or something. Is Max Mara still alive? Like Mr. or Mrs. Max Mara. Yeah. I have like, no who is clue. Probably Miss. Not. It's either like Maximilian or Miss like Max Arena. Max Mara is kind of like Acris and Complete St. John. Like, side I feel like the brand is really I old. feel like Mr. St. John is as old as Louis Vuitton. And Brunello Cuccionelli. He's probably just some rich guy from like Europe. He might be alive still. Yeah, actually. I should see that. I don't know. If you know. Next. I sold this cape head, cape head, cape head. <laughs> ah! The dogs are like pounding the door. The lights are my bouncing brain, my brain. My brain is pounding back and forth. It's a hundred thousand degrees outside, so I am. <sighs> We've been prepping for house guests again. Which anytime we prep for house guests, like the brain just goes on vacation mode. It's just hard. Kate <laughs> it's hot. Spade. It is 95 degrees and like 79th percentile humidity. Like it's We're suffering. Disgusting. We are suffering here. Kate Spade <laughs> floral long caftan dress. 40 bucks. I get 32. That was recently from Turnstile. Then another really good sale of the week and this was from my own personal collection. Good sale. It was this Christian Dior logo monogram printed floral embroidered little card holder. So I had this, I was using it myself for all of my rewards cards because I'm a grandma. <laughs> the, the amount of and like rewards cards and coupons that circle around this household is... If there's one thing or two things Debbie taught me, it's thrift and have rewards. <laughs> Store rewards cards. For everywhere. I have, Not the credit cards. No. The rewards points cards. I card. have like gas station, oh, restaurants, yeah. stores. The gas station makes sense though. Thrift stores if they offer that. Like mm -hmm. everything. My data is everywhere. <laughs> I can count the number of times that we, we have been with Debbie specifically and we've checked out someplace and she's like, you don't have the rewards card? And I'm like, Debbie, we've been here once before. Like, no. You know what? Fiscal. Fiscal, fiscal, fiscal. She takes that teeny little hand and it, she just... Saving money. <laughs> so I actually am selling this because I purchased a different Christian Dior wallet from the real real that was like a deal of a deal. And I think I got that one for like 225. So I actually oh, I thought it was less than broke that. even, or it might've been less. And it was like this beautiful 2020 flamingo printed like Dior wallet. It is and so now I literally made my money back because it sold for 275, I get 220. That's Perfect. crazy. I then I sold this Anthropology moth knit striped rib dress for 23, I get 1638. And that is it for my 23rd. My 23rd, the one and only was a bins find from a thrift haul or a bins thrift with us from a couple weeks ago, maybe. And this Suffrage caped wide leg, really adorable Swiss dot little jumpsuit sold for $20. I will make 
16. I think I was, I found that. I was gonna get it. And then I was like, eh, no. I like the Miss Selfridge stuff if it's like a little bit more substantial. Misguided and Miss Selfridge, like hit or miss. Well, they're both like fast fashion. And they can be good. It's kind of like Nasty Gal, yeah. yeah. Like some pieces actually can do really, really good and get decent money. And, and then some pieces some can like, do diddly. Most And you diddly. make nothing. 24th, I had none. I had one. And it went to a lovely one of you. Went to the lovely Miss Lauren. I posted this Abercrombie & Fitch sweater that was in the Thrift With Us on Instagram. And I was like, oh my gosh, am I becoming an Abercrombie & Fitch girly? Because like, this is actually really nice. And she was like, boom, 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 boom. With like that TikTok the thing with the card. Card. Yeah, that's what she did. And I was like, here you go, girly. And she got herself a nice new wonderful cardigan for $40 and I will make 32. Thank you again, Lauren, much appreciated. Then on the 25th, I had one. Deuces. And it went to a <laughs> lovely one of you, and it went to the lovely Shone, and Shone saw this retro-licious Space Celestial Galaxy printed dress, and she went, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Did I scare anybody? I'm sorry if you With the like credit card, like from the Tic Tac. A noise sensitivity. <laughs> so this sold to Shone. Shone actually purchased from me last week, so her name might sound familiar, because I think she bought a bundle of like a couple pairs of pants and jeans. But now Shone wanted it's this cute. dress, and she got it for 35 and I get 28 So thank you very much, Shone. That is such a cute dress. Shone, do you work in the sciences? High school Jack oh, so. would have been freaking obsessed with it. I love Did you go through the galaxy space phase? print? I was I still emo. love space print. I like star. I think it like honed in. I like moon print and star print or more like like old timey zodiac. Like I... the sun with the faces or stuff. Like kind of witchy star yeah. stuff now. Celestial. Yeah. I was an emo, so I didn't get to the galaxy and I thing. I am one. But what I did have was one t-shirt from Zoomies that my mom bought me for my birthday. And my dad hated it. And it was this old man with a pipe, like an old-fashioned oh, like, tobacco pipe. And it was like this it. smoke. And it was like the galaxy <laughs> print thing. I have seen it a couple of times. And every time I see it, I think of the books in my house were the family scrapbook. And like the amount of years, every family vacation, every family event, I'm in like that shirt or regular shirt. I <laughs> see you and I raise you another nostalgia t-shirt, <laughs> sweatshirt situation. I had, I think it was either from Urban Outfitters or it was from like Wish. And it was the paint bucket dumping yes! out the galaxy. I remember that one. I, I had that one. remember those. That's so funny. Those that waist was, shirts, I, I, and they I, felt awful. That took me somewhere. That unlocked something. I don't remember. Yeah. One, two, okay. three, four, five. I can't count. Six. It's like that. Um, I think that was from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. From Sesame Street. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't remember a whole lot of Sesame Street. I was too young. I actually... I remember Burton and Ernie. It's bad. I, liked I, I actually know that from Family Guy, but it's from Sesame Street. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> I'm gonna get, like, copywritten. Sesame Big Bird's... <gasps> <gasps> that Big Bird <laughs> gif where he, like, goes... <laughs> and the door gets kicked in. <laughs> That's what he's gonna do, but it's gonna be with it's copyright be this papers. Door. This has derailed... More than Talked I think. Homer Simpson and Farts in the we Wind. We went and Big from Bird Shown and, and her galaxy and dress to Big Bird, to Big Bird <laughs> busting down our door. Somebody <laughs> create a timeline How many where you break down <laughs> what subject connected to what for a freaking space printed dress leading to Big Bird busting down our door. I would like to say it was 106 in the afternoon and we are both stone cold sober. And hungry. That's and it. Tired and hot. Tired and hot and stressed. Anyway, by 1st of the 25th, <laughs> nothing to do with Big Bird or Could anything from this Sesame big Street. yellow like feather dress. It's a Sesame Street graphic t-shirt of Big Bird just saying that I'm gonna get you. full circle. It's vintage 1970s <laughs> green floral puff sleeve maxi dress. I would have loved love to get more for this, but I'm like, we need a little money. This mortgage is coming due at the end of this month one way or a tether. Sold for $30 and I make 24. Usually my vintage dresses, I do try to get a lot more for them. But we got an air conditioning bill to pay. That's it. I am- We just paid it this I would morning, rather it was a lot. take a low offer on this dress and be cool. I want to see Then my, have a dress I that I can't see wear. my breath in my house. That's it. If I don't need to put a sweatshirt on in my own home, I'm not doing it right. Are you even doing it right? No. And then, I think this is my last pair, if I'm not mistaken. I found some of these at a consignment store, and they were like, do you want to take them? We both did. And I said, 
Thank you. Yeah. Anthropology X Dolce Vita Cream. Really adorable. Very like cult guy looking slip on heeled sandal. Sold for $48 and I make $30, $43. If I have one more left, please send me $20. Do you uh -huh. have them? I want to get rid of them. Yes. Then on the 26th, I had five. Uh -huh. None. No. My first sale was the Zara Oversized Jacket Plaid Fall Flannel that I kind of like rubbed in you guys' faces for some reason. I was like, it's so nice, but it's sold. So I should have done that with more inspired. Been like, look at this beautiful. This was so soft. It is really soft. Like I almost like would have kept this. It was like softer than the American Eagle, like oh so soft flannels. It was very like Rails esque, but it was more like a jacket. Mm -hmm. And once again, I'm building this flannel up to be like amazing, but it's already gone, so there's no point. If she returns it, she's like, "This is the most uncomfortable, <laughs> unsoft thing I've ever." Yeah, found she's like, "It's stiff, itchy, distant, stiff, and weird." Distant. <laughs> this sold for forty two dollars, and I get thirty three sixty. Then, for some reason, I sold these anthropology embroidered Islander pants. There was a longer title that I can't read. Maybe they had some kind of name. So I got an offer on these. They were listed at 68. I got an offer of like 40. I've had them for over a year. So I was like gonna take it, but she canceled that offer in she two them. milliseconds. No. <clears throat> then like two hours later, somebody else bought them full price. Oh, cause they got that somebody else sent an offer. That's what I assume, but I can't believe that woman canceled that offer so fast. I can't believe Poshmark system could even send the email out that said like somebody you just got, got an, an offer. offer. Yeah, that's so. So funny. they sold for sixty eight, and I get fifty four forty, and that's wild. I, I have probably sent out sale. like a forty percent discount on those before. That's crazy. Then I saw these Everlane boyfriend regular classic jeans. They sold for forty, and I get thirty two twenty two. I do not pay much for Everlane jeans anymore. That's like luck. Take that with a grain of salt because Good. they. Good. Don't sell that well. Good things fine. Then I sold the Birkenstock floral printed leather slides for twenty. I get sixteen. These were decently beat, especially you could definitely see a foot print. So I don't mm -hmm. expect much for them when it's that situation. That's why they sold so low. Then I sold these San X Nian Nian Nianco Pie Cat Bakery so keychains. Cute. Like a title I never thought I'd say out loud. <laughs> so these are from San Rio. They must have a line called San. X, which maybe is like the offshoot characters or something like that. Sanrio are the people that own Hello Kitty. And For they the make all the little know. like cute All the little like critters. Anything Sanrio. This is I so good. I love. I love to pick up Hello Kitty and Sanrio stuff. Sold for 23 and I get 18.40, but like these were keychains that were plushies from the bins. So these cost me a penny or two. Mm -hmm. And then on the 27th, which is today, I've had one this morning. And I sold this coach leather small crossbody bag for 20 and I get 16. This also like had a mark to it. Kind of like the Birkenstocks. It's just like making money. I knew it'd sell and I haven't had it long, but. I knew it wouldn't sell for much. So my gross for most of this week is 1,241. Mine is 442. And my net is 981 and 80 cents. 353.60, which really isn't that bad. No. Objectively, almost 400 bucks. We were nervous that this video that would, be would be like, super short. I had one sale and I made $16 and I paid $10 for it. So we But what bucks. do you know? We had the skill of babbling to take us to wow. 30 minutes. Wow, nobody ever thought that Ryan couldn't tell a short story. <laughs> Though, we have one P.O. Box package to open from Cat Cram, who Yay! is such an amazing, fantastic, beautiful, fantastic, all the good words, She's groundbreaking a human being. woman. Very much She's so. She's so nice to both of us, like genuinely so nice. She sent She's us kind -hearted really person. kind like messages before. She yes. sends us cards. Cards. The nicest she has handwritten, sent us most sentimental gifts. cards. She has sent Mike birthday gifts. Yes. She sends us just like gifts or like TikToks of things that would interest us. She's like literally such so sweet. So she sent this package. I have no idea what it is. It just has my name on it, but that doesn't really mean anything. So we will see. I did cut it open, but I have no idea what's inside. It kind of feels like maybe a sweatshirt or I something. Don't know. Or like a, a little stiff though. Mm. I don't know. So let's take a peek. Oh, figure her out. For the new pup oh, let me from go. Cat Cram. Should I go get Will? Oh. I'll start opening this while you fetch the young one. Bring, Will. bring me the boy. The Will. Or what Here. is I don't watch Star Wars, but I don't watch Star Wars, but they say something about little baby Yoda. They're like, bring me the baby. I would like to see the baby. Yeah. Here is the baby. You got a little something something. Can you say hi? Say hi. Oh, say wait, hi. A, wait a wait a second. This oh, is. Look. Oh, we need one of these. 
Like, we actually need one of these she so like, bad. Do you think she has access to our furbo? And she's like, this is something they're missing inside their house. She's like looking at the camera and she's like, this is something they could use. This is like a mat for like their food dish and water dish. A couple things to say. Those sit in our kitchen and the color palette for our kitchen is like black and white. Yeah. Also, Will gets so freaking wet from drinking on his like <laughs> muzzle that he drips all around it's, the water dish. Drips onto our floor. That's okay. Also, we actually don't even have one of these, and we could oh. totally use one of these. Thank you so much, Cat Cram. Thank this you. This is actually going to come in so handy, and I'm gonna go put it out there literally, literally right now. The minute we turn this so thank off. you so much from us. And, Will, can and you say and thank you goodbye? Helium. Which, if you didn't see the Friday video, you can, if you don't wanna see all my Halloween stuff, you can go to the end of it, and Mike and Will show off a Halloween little costume they got along with their little Halloween toys. Yeah. So did cute. you get some Halloween toys? Yes, you did. So, uh, we will see you guys. If Big Bird doesn't take us out, we will see you guys on Tuesday for something. For something. And then Thursday for something else. And then Saturday, right back here again. Except Valentine's, we'll see. He'll see you on Monday. Yes. Ding. Goodbye. It just, the world just blows up. You tired? <laughs>